Academy Award winners Tom Hanks, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Steven Spielberg team up for DreamWorks Pictures' The Terminal. Where do I buy the Nike shoes? The story of an immigrant who becomes a man without a country while in flight to the United States. Now, if you could wait here, an airport is supposed to be that, that doorway to the world in which people are checked. And people are checked in this case, you know, Victor, Victor Noworski is checked and he's no good. It seems that you have fallen through a small crack in the system. I am... Um, the filmmakers look to production designer Alex McDowell to create a realistic set from the ground floor up, the actual terminal. Well, that's a big set. Holy cow, look at the size of that set. My God, that set's so going! We realized that there was no stage in Los Angeles that was going to be big enough to hold our set. So we started looking around uh, in the LA greater area to try and find space that was big enough and actually ended up in this hangar in Palmdale. It's an old hangar that they used to build airplanes in 747s. Hundreds of craftsmen were brought on board to create a freestanding atrium style building containing three stories of fully dressed sets. It is as long as two football fields and as wide as two football fields parallel. So it was just impossible to even conceive that uh, the model that we had in the pre-production process would fill up this place, but it did. 650 tons of steel was used in building the structural frame of one of the largest interior sets ever built. This space from the very beginning, from when, when Stephen started shooting in here, uh, it's pretty much self-contained. It's fully enclosed so that there's no need to move walls around or bring walls in or change ceilings. It's really one 360-degree space. I love that. <laughs> it's immediately inviting. This is actually the antithesis of what most motion picture making is. It is bright. It is airy. It is cool. <laughs> it, there is plenty of places to sit. There's also plenty of food and shopping available on the set, with more than 35 companies represented in the terminal's retail mall. Good afternoon, welcome to Burger King. May I take your order? When I first walked into the set, I turned to Stephen and I said, "I'm, I'm, I'm just breathless. I, uh, it's just taking my breath away." And I think, on some level, that's the ultimate goal for a designer. You know, and for a film like this, is to be invisible. I think that that if nobody understands what on earth it was that the designer did in this case, I, I think that's great. You ever feel like you're just living in an airport? <laughs> <laughs>